Hi guys, who's ready for Wildlife Snap? What's on the map? Find it and snap! Hi everyone, I'm Bargul MJ and I'm here to find out if these wildlife species can still be found in Jurong Lake Gardens. Okay, here are the rules. At this park, we may find these wildlife. Some are common, while some are hard to find, and if we are really lucky, we may even spot this rare species. I wonder what that is. There's only one way to find out. Let's snap! And today's challenge, six birds, two insects, and one reptile. Jurong Lake Gardens is Singapore's third national garden. It is also our first national gardens in the heartlands of Singapore, right in the middle of Jurong Town. It was specially designed to mimic natural habitats, restore natural ecosystems and conserve existing biodiversity. The thoughtful designs of the habitats in the park makes it suitable for many animals to thrive here. So let's get started right away! Today, we will be starting at Jurong Lake Gardens North Car Park, moving along the waterfront and finally reaching the grasslands. Oh, there's a bird up there! This is the brown-throated sunbird the other rather common sunbird species that you can find in our parks and gardens. Male brown-throated sunbirds have a really beautiful, iridescent, slightly metallic-looking head. They have these thin, sharp beaks that allow them to drink nectar from some of the garden flowers. It just rained in the morning, so I think that many animals will be out drying themselves, warming themselves up to get ready for the day. We're going that way! There's a huge wasp up there. It is a potter wasp. More specifically, a pear-tailed potter wasp. Look at its pear-shaped tail. They may look kind of scary, but these potter wasps are known to fly away from danger rather than attack you. <gasps> a butterfly! Hi! This is a common tiger butterfly. One of the most common butterflies you can find in Singapore. Butterflies love fluttering around flowers, drinking nectar with its usually curled up proboscis, sort of like a long tongue, but they don't drink for free. When a butterfly lands on the flower to drink nectar, the flower's pollen becomes attached and as the butterfly moves from flower to flower drinking more nectar, the pollen is transferred. Let's head over to the viewing deck over there. This is Jurong Lake, one of Singapore's 17 reservoirs. Oh, a monitor lizard! When there's a water body like this, you're bound to find that majestic reptile. Yep, I'm talking about the Malayan water monitor lizard. Monitor lizards eat fish, insects, and a whole bunch of other small animals. They also eat any dead animals they can find. This type of behaviour is known as scavenging. Without scavengers such as monitor lizards, there will be a lot more dead animals decaying out in the open, which will not only look and smell bad, but it will also attract nasty vermin such as flies, cockroaches and rats. And that is how monitor lizards help to keep Singapore's parks and gardens clean. I think I got a good shot of it. Let's go! Oh, hello! There's a tailor bird there. Did you know that tailor birds got their name from a very special talent? They use their sharp beaks as needle to sew leaves together with plant fibres and spider webs, creating their own cosy nest. That's why they're called tailor birds, because they're like tiny tailors. There's a group of pigeons up there. They are pink necked green pigeons. The colourful pink ones are male pink necked green pigeons, but the female ones are rather dull, just a single shade of green. People are often surprised by how beautiful pigeons can get. If you look over to the trees, you see another one of those amazing looking pigeons. Those are Pied Imperial Pigeons. They are relatively large pigeons found in several ecosystems throughout Southeast Asia. The Pied Imperial Pigeons are pretty rare here in Singapore, so I'm glad we managed to see them here. Oh, yet another monitor lizard! Let's keep our distance and appreciate them from afar. Bye-bye! 
One of the perks of exploring after a rain is that a lot of worms get flushed out of the soil so we'll be able to see a lot of birds hunting. Oh, there's a family of white-breasted water hens over there! The white-breasted water hen is a water bird that loves hanging out in places that are near water bodies. We usually find them poking around searching for food. Adult water hens look pretty neat. They look like they are wearing a suit all the time, but their young looks like this. Super cute, right? They look like little black fluff balls that just follows their parents everywhere. I can look at them forever. Wow. Wait a minute. Look up there. It's the Crested Gold Shop! The Crested Gold Shop is a bird of prey, also known as a raptor. It hunts small mammals, birds and reptiles under the cover of the tree canopy, so it can catch its prey by surprise. It's relatively uncommon, so I'm really happy to see it today. I hear a woodpecker's call. Oh, I see them! It's a couple of common flameback woodpeckers. If you look carefully, you'll realise that one of the birds has a bright red mohawk, while the others have black ones. The woodpecker did not dye its feathers red. It's just a natural difference in their feather colours. The male common flameback has red feathers, while the female has black. There's a big and beautiful nightjar resting on the ground. This bird is known for its incredible camouflage. Its plumage blends seamlessly with the forest floor, tree bark and leaves, making it nearly invisible during the day when it rests. This remarkable ability helps it avoid predators and surprise unsuspecting prey. Night jars are usually more active at night, so I'm really lucky to spot it in the day. Bye! We're going onto the boardwalk right now. Let's go! <gasps> what a breathtaking view! Before the developments in the 1960s, this piece of land used to be a freshwater swamp forest. Thankfully, the area has been partially recreated so that now we can experience a freshwater swamp habitat up close. In freshwater swamps like these, we should be able to see some water birds hanging around looking for food, like that grey heron over there. With a height of around 1 metre, the grey heron is the tallest and most commonly seen heron in Jurong Lake Gardens. Grey herons feed on fish, amphibians, and even small mammals and insects which can all be found in this restored freshwater swamp habitat. They use their long neck and sharp beak to catch their prey before tossing the meal down their throat. Wait, what is that flying across the lake? Oh, that's a red water lapwing! The red water lapwing has a clever trick to protect its babies. When a predator gets too close to its nest, the lapwing pretends to have a broken wing and leads the predator away. This helps to keep its eggs and chicks safe. Plus, these birds have bright red wattles on their faces, which makes them look really cool. Okay, one last place to visit today and hopefully we can find some rarer wildlife. Besides wetland habitats, Jurong Lake Gardens also has a large grassland area. This provides a very important habitat for birds that like to hang out in large open areas with tall plants like these. Look! That's the Zitting Cisticola. Also known as the Strict Fantail Warbler, the Zitting Cisticola is a tiny bird with big energy. These little birds are famous for their zit 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 call. They love to build beautiful round nests hidden in tall grass using spider webs to stick the nest together. Look at that one collecting grass for its nest! There are three of such bird hides around the grassland. If you go inside, you can actually observe the birds without alarming them. Let's see what birds come our way. Oh hey! That looks like a munia. The scaly-breasted munia is the most common munia species in Singapore. It gets its name from the scaly patterns on its breast and belly. Munias are grassland birds that eat seeds. They have a strong and robust beak to help them crack open the seeds. 
Oh, look there! It's a Pettifield Pipit. The Pettifield Pipit is a small bird with a big personality. These birds love to run around the ground and can often be seen darting through fields and grasslands. They have a funny way of bobbing their heads up and down while they walk. These birds are definitely one of the highlights here. Wait, what is that brown bird flying across? That is a lesser cockle! The lesser cockle is a grassland bird that mainly eats grassland insects such as grasshoppers and crickets. Something cool about the lesser cockle is that it's actually part of the cuckoo family, basically cousins of the quails. Some cuckoo species are famous for being bad parents as they lay their eggs in the nest of other birds and get those bamboozled birds to unknowingly raise their babies. But thankfully, cockles actually build their own nests and take care of their own offspring. So yes, wholesome cuckoos actually exist. Look at how it disappears into the tall grasses. I'm sure there are many other wildlife here that are hidden from plain sight. Alright, my memory card is full and we've officially gotten too much wildlife in today's wildlife snap! In today's adventure, we have seen the odd water hand babies, cute little sunbirds and the majestic water monitor. And this has to be my favourite snap! What is yours? As we review the snaps we took, do remember to respect nature and give them space when you are out observing them. There's so much wildlife for you to find here, so if you're interested in looking for these animals yourselves, feel free to head out and explore! Until next time! <laughs>